हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी लॉजिकल मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल वेलकम टू क्विज टाइम आज हम लोग क्विज करेंगे बेस्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड मार्च न्यूज पेपर न्यूज पेपर एज इन डेली न्यूज पेपर पर बेस्ड ही क्विज होता है बहुत ही जल्दी हम टेन क्वेश्चन करते हैं फॉर जी के एंड ऑल्सो वी अटैम टेन क्वेश्चन फॉर वो कैबलरी सो इफ यू स्टिल नॉट फॉलोइंग द सीरीज प्लीज क्विकली सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल और इस क्विज को डेली बेसिस पे फॉलो करें सो दैट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस टेन क्वेश्चन ऑफ जी के एंड वो कैबलरी बेस्ड ऑन डेली न्यूज पेपर टूडे वी हैव जी के क्विज फॉर ट्वेंटी थर्ड मार्च विच आई एम गोइंग टू बिगिन राइट नाउ सो क्विकली गेट रेडी वी आर गोइंग टू क्विकली सॉल्व टेन क्वेश्चन जिसमें फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट यूर International Day of Forest is celebrated on which date every year? Is it 20th March? Is it 21st March? Is it 22nd March or is it 23rd March? Let's see what's the correct answer everyone. It's B 21st March. Let's move to the next question. All right. Shahid Divas is observed on which date to remember the sacrifice of three extraordinary revolutionaries of India? Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev. Options are 20th March 21 मार्च 22 मार्च और इज इट 23 मार्च एक वाइल गैस कर सकते हैं एज द क्विज इज बेस्ड ऑन 23 मार्च तो करेक्ट आंसर यस इट्स दी 23 मार्च और राइट ओके सो शहीद दिवस इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन 23 मार्च एंड इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड टू रिमेंबर द सेक्रीफाइस ऑफ द थ्री ग्रेट रेवल्यूशनरीज भगत सिंह राजगुरु एंड सुखदेव All right. Question number three. Recently, Indian PM Narendra Modi received which country's highest civilian award? Order of the Druk Yalpo. Let's see the options. It's Singapore. It's Australia. Is it Bhutan or is it D Mauritius? Let's see the correct answer. Correct answer is C Bhutan. Let's move to number four, guys. Question number four. World Earth Hour Day 2024 will be celebrated on March 23rd at six. To 7 p.m., 8:30 to 9:30 p.m., 7:30 to 8:30 p.m. or 9 to 10 p.m. Let's see who knows the correct answer. I'll give you one second quickly attempt the answer before I reveal it. All right, here we go. Correct answer. Okay, it's B. 8:30 to 9:30 p.m. Okay, so the World Wildlife Fund (WWF) is all set to celebrate the Earth Hour 2024. On 23rd March at 8:30 to 9:30 PM. Chalo, let's move. Which organization initiated Earth Hour? Let's see the option, guys. Options are: Is it A. United Nations Environment Programme? Is it B. World Wildlife Fund? Is it C. Greenpeace? Or is it D. International Union for Conservation of Nature? Let's see what's the correct answer. करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड जो मैंने पिछले क्वेश्चन में हिंट कर दिया था ओके ओके सो दिस वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड लाइफ फंड इनिशिएटेड द अर्थ आर टू यू नो इट कंसर्न द एनवायरमेंटल चैलेंजेस तो उस पर बेस ये इनिशिएट हुआ था लेट्स मूव टू नंबर सिक्स सेम टॉपिक पे What is the primary purpose of Earth Hour? Is it to celebrate the Earth's rotation? Is it to promote renewable energy sources? Is it to raise awareness about climate change and environmental issues, or is it D to conserve water resources? Again, I had given a slight hint that the Earth Hour was initiated. Kiya gaya tha. Let's see how many of you could get this answer right. Correct answer is option C to raise awareness about climate change and environmental issues. Okay, so this was done to provide real solution to combat environmental challenges. Okay, let's move to the next question here. Number seven, which terrorist group claimed the responsibility for an attack in the outskirts of Russian capital, resulted in the deaths of over sixty people and injuries of around one fifty? Options are A. Islamic State, B. Balochistan Liberation Army, C. Hamas, or is it D Jaish e Mohammed correct answer let's see what's the correct answer it's A Islamic state everyone number 8 all right number 8 is archaeological survey of india team begins survey of bhojshala site it is in which state options are is it A UP is it B Rajasthan is it C MP or is it D Maharashtra correct answer coming right up it's C MP Okay, number nine. Just two more questions to go. 
नंबर नाइन गुलाल गोटा इज ए यूनिक होली ट्रेडिशन ऑफ विथ स्टेट ऑप्शन बिहार उत्तर प्रदेश राजस्थान और इज इट डी हरियाणा लेट्स चेक द करेक्ट आंसर एवरी वन ओके वेल ऑप्शन सी राजस्थान इज करेक्ट गुलाल गोटा इज ए यूनिक होली ट्रेडिशन ऑफ राजस्थान जयपुर लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द जी के क्विज फर्स्ट मैच ऑफ सेवनटीन एडिशन ऑफ आई पी एल वॉज प्लेड बिटवीन सी एस के एंड आर सी बी एट विथ स्टेडियम इज इट एम ए चिदम्बरम स्टेडियम इज इट एम चिन्नास्वामी स्टेडियम इज इट ईडन गार्डन और इज इट अरुण जेटली स्टेडियम लेट सी ऑल दोस्ट क्रिकेट फैंस हु नोज द करेक्ट आंसर इट्स ए एम ए चिदम्बरम स्टेडियम ओके सो सी एस के बीट आर सी बी रॉयल चैलेंजर्स बैंगलोर बाई सिक्स विकेट इन द फर्स्ट मैच ऑफ सेवनटीन एडिशन ऑफ आई पी एल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर ओके दिस ब्रिंग्स एस टू द एंड ऑफ द जी के क्वेज लेट्स मूव टू द वोकेबुलरी क्वेज रियल क्वेक ओके फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन नंबर वन द मिलिट्री अडोप्टेड डैश एज अ स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर एफिशियंट स्टोरेज एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ एम्यूनिशन ड्यूरिंग कॉम्बैट योर ऑप्शन आर ए डिस्पर्जन बी डिसमिनेशन सी हार्मोनाइजेशन और इज इट डी कैरेस्टराइजेशन द मिलिट्री अडोप्टेड डैश फॉर एफिशियंट स्टोरेज की वर्ड यहाँ पे है एफिशियंट स्टोरेज करेक्ट आंसर देख लेते हैं इट्स कैनिस्टराइजेशन एवरी वन ऑल राइट सी कैनिस्टराइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ स्टोरिंग आइटम्स और इन दिस केस एज देव गिवेन एम्यूनिशन आर्म्स एंड एम्यूनिशन गन्स एंड एम्यूनिशन सो टू स्टोर दैम प्रॉपरली इन कंटेनर्स और बॉक्सेज वॉट्स एवर सो दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड कैनिस्टराइजेशन ओके नंबर टू The new aircraft boasted advanced dash systems that enhance navigation and communication capabilities. Your options are A, avionics; B, mechanics; C, hydraulics; or is it D, pneumatics? Let's see the correct answer, everyone. Correct answer is A, avionics. Aircraft. A very big hint in this question. Me, aviation aircraft related. so avionics is the correct answer here all right hydraulics and pneumatics mechanics they are incorrect hydraulics and pneumatics are different branches of science and engineering one deals with properties of liquids hydra and other deals with properties of gases so correct answer is avionics let's move to number 3 all right number 3 The dash of modern technology is that while it connects us globally, it also isolates individuals within their virtual worlds, creating a sense of disconnect despite constant communication. I'll give you one quick second to go through the context. Keywords देख लेंगे. Modern technology की बात हो रही है. While it connects globally, it disconnects despite constant communication. Options: conformity, consistency. Paradox or is it persistence? Let's take a look at the correct answer. Correct answer is C. Paradox. जो keywords मैंने key phrases underline uh, the ones which I underlined. I think it was pretty clear that the answer is paradox. Reason being on one hand we are saying it connects us globally and on the other hand we are saying it disconnects despite constant communication. So this whole context is a paradox. It is in itself very contradictory. Moving on. Number four. All right. Question number four. The country's nuclear arsenal served as a powerful dash against potential aggressors, determining then from initiating conflicts. Initiate initiating conflicts. What are the key words? Here, here, initiating conflicts, deterring, powerful dash. मतलब enemy को discourage करने में कामयाब हुए. So it served the country's nuclear arsenal served as a powerful dash. options are a deterrence b inducement c incentive or is it d intensive kafi obvious hai ye answer guys because deterring was already underlined here from initiating conflicts uh, we were successful in discouraging the enemy hindering them from not moving ahead so deterrence is the correct answer here let's move ahead after the enemy's attack the nation's military planned a swift dash to demonstrate its strength and resolve 
your options are a retaliation b conciliation uh, then reconciliation and d is pacification all right after enemy's attack enemy ne attack kar liya hai the nation's military planned a swift dash so when you are going to answer to one attack what are you doing you are retaliating retaliation is when you respond to an attack in this case enemy's attack responding to enemy's attack whereas conciliation and recon uh, to reconcile is ki apne differences ko bhula ke wapas friendly re uh, relations kar lena that is reconciling reconciliation conciliation is simply solving your differences pacification is to pacify to bring peace all right question number 6 the political leader dash a policy of equality and social justice garnering support from a wide range of voters your options are a opposed b disputed c espoused or is it d objected correct answer is c espoused well we are talking about the political leader dash policy of equality and social justice so when you are talking about advocating supporting a particular belief then espoused is the correct term here opposed disputed and objected ye bilkul opposite ja rahe context ke we are talking about favoring a particular belief so espoused all right number 7 the rising tensions between the two countries reached a critical dash prompting concerns about the possibility of war your options are peak apex zenith threshold quite the obvious answer here if you just go through the context correct answer is threshold why because zenith peak and apex they indicate the highest point wherein we are talking about something like reach the critical limit that's also threshold is the correct answer number 8 the conflict showed signs of dash as both sides increase their military presence along the border your options are escalation de escalation reduction and diminution conflict showed signs of dash as both sides increase their military presence so correct answer is obviously escalation it was escalating increase ho raha tha de escalation would be opposite reduction diminution sab opposite ja rahe number 9 pe aate the air force deployed dash jets to intercept and neutralize incoming enemy aircraft your options are a accommodator b interceptor c mediator or is it d negotiator air force deployed dash jets to intercept and neutralize so correct answer is b interceptor these are like specialized aircraft which are used to intercept intercept as in agar hum yahan pe clearly word diya hua hai intercept and neutralize incoming enemy aircraft so it is basically to obstruct to hit uh, to hinder to stop to discourage the enemy to discourage the incoming enemy aircraft so these are known as interceptors they are like specialized aircraft systems all right number 10 the last one for vocabulary quiz here the government announced a new initiative to support small businesses in their entrepreneurial dash providing funding and resources for growth and innovation your options are a indolence b apathy c endeavors or is it d saviors dhyan se dekhoge to teen option bilkul relate hi nahi karte support small businesses in their entrepreneur endeavors endeavors could be prospects something that you are looking forward to so endeavors all right this brings us to the end of today's quiz 23rd march stay tuned for more such quizzes and i'll see you next time Till then stay logical